Hey everybody, Brad C here. Just want to say that indoor shooting ranges suck. This is the first time I have ever been to an indoor shooting range. Believe it or not, I should say by myself. I took a group of friends there a while back to teach them about firearms and there really wasn't anybody in there. And it still was somewhat of a miserable conditions environment. But tonight, I got the full deal. I don't know how anybody does that. If you've been watching the channel, you know that most, pretty much all of my footage is outdoor, either at my farm or at an outdoor gun range. But the weather has just been really bad. And I had a couple of guns I really wanted to test, namely this FBS-12, this Fed Arm uh, bullpup shotgun. And I got in trouble with this at the range. I got in big trouble. So... I looked around because I didn't want the wife to see me. But, uh, yeah, I got chewed out. I guess you're not allowed to shoot uh, birdshot in these places. And there's a sign, but, of course, I didn't pay attention to the sign. I didn't see it. I'm not very observant. I just figured birdshot would, wouldn't be any problem. I mean, I thought maybe slugs or maybe, you know, double up buck or something might be a problem. But, anyways, I got in big trouble. Because I obliterated the target. And I also did some damage to the daggone thing that brings the targets in and out. They paint them gray and I stripped off all the paint. And I didn't realize I'd even done it. Let's see how this SPS-12 does real quick. And they were not happy. They threatened to charge me twenty-five dollars. Just told them they could, but told them I'd also never be back if they did that. So they didn't charge me any money. But wow! By the way, both of these guns have been safety checked. I literally just come back from the range. I safety checked them there, and I safety checked them once I got inside the apartment. So trust me, they're empty. Now I did get to test out the Fab Defense Mag Extension, and this is an awesome little product. G4310 and it makes this a 10 round gun so and more importantly to me I, I like the added number that I was able to shoot I mean, the number added rounds but what really impressed me was just being able to get a perfect purchase on this and I don't know if you can see this but there's like a lip right here that just tucks your finger in there so your finger my pinky finger fits perfect right there so it just holds this gun in a perfect grip and my groups were much better with this much better so and they, they still weren't good I, I this is the first time I've really taken this thing to try to hit targets inside of any kind of a well in any range but anyways there was a definite difference between shooting this with the regular uh, six round magazine and then this this extension I had much better groups much better control and this is no problem concealing it fits right into my little uh, belly band I do a review on that and not a problem okay fab defense Much better, much better. You can see here, I mean, the control is just getting more and more, and I'm starting to, to hone into the feel of the gun. But most importantly, I want you to notice with the Fab Defense, look how many more rounds you have, obviously, and look how close the groups are. Whereas up here, we had a, a couple of, of tight groups here, but a lot of splatter here. So I like this, 
and but back to what I actually shot this video for I can't believe how ridiculous these ranges are oh I feel for people that have to go to these things so loud and which I don't usually care like outdoors it doesn't really bother me but something about this place I could literally feel the vibration from the person beside of me in an AR-15 and every time boom 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 every time they <laughs> fired that thing I could feel the vibrations just hitting me uh, you know and I just I don't know I, I, I mean maybe I'm being picky here I don't know maybe I'm just a big wimp but I just did not like it I'm sorry very uncomfortable I don't think I'll ever go back to an indoor range unless I absolutely have to. I love it outdoors. I love shooting outdoors, but that was not for me. I'd also like to know what some of you uh, famous viewers of uh, mine think about that. Uh, either Spec Op or Max Headspace 9mm or maybe the real Cobra Burnout. Uh, some of the other guys that uh, tune in, I'm sorry if I forgot some people, but that's about the, the most famous three I can think of. I know there's one guy, I know he's Native American, but mm, okay, well, let's move on from that. But anyways, uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. I mean, do you guys go to indoor shooting ranges? Is that something you enjoy doing? I, I just didn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. I just did not enjoy it. Like I say, I got in trouble because I used birdshot and they chewed me out. The guy actually took me at the end. Now, I, I didn't realize I'd done anything wrong. I obliterated the target and it fell off of the, of the stand. So I came out and told the guy, I said, I obliterated your target. And he just kind of laughed. And uh, so I thought, well, it must be nothing to that, you know. But so then I put my stuff in a car and started looking all around the shop and looking at all their guns they had an unbelievable selection of guns all of them top dollar priced way way too expensive do people not have the internet i mean totally ridiculous i mean uh, usually i like to go support my local gun shops but this place was it was real swanky i mean it it was just i mean glitzed out every gun you could imagine was there anyways I saw a little cricket on the wall, and I, I said, uh, "Hey, uh, that cricket you got for for 139." I said, "If you take 120, I'll take it tonight." And uh, he said, "No, I can't do that. We need to talk to you." I said, oh, "Okay." He said, "Put these put these headphones on." So he took me back in the in the stall there, and he brought that machine up and showed me where I had scuffed it up, which I had. And you know, he read me the right act about how you know, they don't allow bird shot in there and they charge $25 for everybody that for that damage and blah 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 I said hey not a problem I said it was an accident I said I didn't know you wouldn't allow to shoot bird shot in this place and I won't do it but if you want to charge 25 bucks go ahead I pulled out my credit card I said go for it I said but keep in mind I'll never be back because it was a total accident and if I really meant to if I really had done something ordinary, I'd have took out of here, not tried to walk around your shop and have you down on your guns. I, I didn't know. So, anyways, he still was very gruff and not very nice about it. You know, he kind of treated me like a little kid or like I should have known better. It's my second time ever being to the place. But, anyways, you know, I'm not saying I would have listened, anyways. If I'd seen some sign that said no bird shot, I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really a rule follower, but but bottom line for me that experience sucked. It just did. No two ways about it. Other than I really enjoyed shooting this Fab Defense mag extension. Love this. Really had fun with that. This I didn't get to enjoy. I liberated the target, and I didn't really get to test this out uh, to my full liking. So I'm gonna reserve putting out anything on this but so far so good and it, i love the looks of this bullpup and i'll be doing a full review on that no need to get into that stuff i just wanted to, to post a quick video hopefully this has been quick anyways post a quick video and gripe about my experience and just wonder like what in the heck 
how do people do that? How do you enjoy that? Okay, well, hey, I'm not trying to criticize you. Maybe people live in a city that that's probably all they have. I mean, it's better than nothing, and I guess you could get used to it. I don't know. But for me, I am really looking forward to getting back out into nature, back into the outdoors, and being able to shoot my guns there in the privacy of the farm or maybe in an outdoor gun range where there's maybe one or two guys shooting guns, but not in a place where there's like 10 people blasting off guns. Unbelievable. All right, hey, just wanted to uh, do a little gripe session here. All right, more reviews coming. Uh, YouTube is, they're being hard on us conservatives, so you know all my gun, um, basically guns and Christianity are the only two things I make videos about, and those, those are definitely not liked by YouTube. So they take away my monetization. For half my videos are demonetized. I've got strikes. They're they're trying to get rid of me. And I'm I'm just trying to do my best to to follow the rules. But man, they do not like conservatives, and that's just the way social media is going. Facebook, Google, YouTube, Twitter. They don't like conservatives. They don't like Christians, and they're doing everything they can to to get rid of us. It is what it is. So. I don't know how much longer this channel will be on here, but I'm trying my best. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe. You can check me out at bradctv.com. Well, the good news is after a good butt chewing, I get to take my aggressions out on Bob. <laughs> That's right. You want to charge me $25? No problem. Man. It's all good, Bob. It's all good. All good. I promise I'm not going to any more indoor ranges. No. No way. You wouldn't like them either. Trust me.